Welcome to the NDL channel. Today, we're going to be matching the secret to the person. But first, let me show you how it's going to work. We have four contestants and all of them have different secrets. There will be four rounds in this game and each round will be based on one of the contestants' real secret. While the other contestants have to lie and pretend they're the one who is telling the truth. At the end of each round I will lock in what I think is the correct answer and at the end of the game we'll find out if I matched them correctly or if the contestants tricked me. Which is not going to happen. This is Prime Suspect. Let's start the interrogation. Okay, we have our contestants here. So, let's get into this. I once passed out in a nightclub in Thailand. Number one, please step forward. So tell me the story. So me and my friend went backpacking and the first place that we landed was Bangkok. During this period, I wasn't that much of a drinker. So I ended up drinking more than I should have. Ended up going to the bathroom thinking I just need to sit down for a little bit. Passed out, woke up a few hours later, locked in because the club was closed now. All right, and what time did the nightclub close? Every club on that strip in Bangkok closed at 2 a.m. There do was you... a curfew by the police at the time. Curfew, why? Why was there a curfew? Hmm? That's just the local law. Surely you were just arriving in Bangkok, so how did you know the local law? <laughs> I think I've seen enough from you. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Number two, please step forward. First off, what's your name? Uh, Dev, short for Dev. All right, Dev, why did you pass out? because of the sun and because of being out all day, I was dehydrated and there wasn't much in my stomach. So one or two shots later, I was feeling a little bit drunk. Before you know it, in the toilet, I was uh, just stumped out. And why were you going to Thailand in the first place? <laughs> uh, everyone goes to Thailand. But um, why? What was the reason? Oh, it was just like a lad's holiday. A lad's holiday? Yeah. To go to Thailand? Yeah. Enjoy yourself? Yeah, everyone goes to Thailand. What vaccines care. did you get? Ever. What vaccines? None. I've had all of my um, jabs, malaria and... Uh, Tell me three Thai words that you learnt while you were out there. Uh, no. All right, okay, well, um, thank you, Dev. Cheers. Appreciate it. All right, contestant three, please step forward. What's your name? Lauren. Please tell me the story. So, me and my cousin, ever since we were small, we were born on the same day. Always it was needed not to... needed information. No, it is. We flew out to Thailand for our 19th birthday and I got very plastered to the point of where I literally can't remember what happened halfway through the trip. All I can remember is the concrete around me and my mum was just looking over me, like just holding my head. Wait, your mum was in Thailand? Yeah, me and my cousin were 19, so yeah. young travellers. So my mum came out, my cousin's mum came out. This is waffle. It's not I, waffle. No, I don't believe it. Did you get any vaccines to go out to Thailand? Yeah, we had to have all of our COVID jabs. COVID jabs, anything else? There's a specific Thai vaccine. Well... Oh, oh, you look like you're crumbling a little bit here. You, you could go back up. I don't yeah. even need to finish the time. Thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Contestant four, please step forward. What's your name? My name's Bridget. And why were you in Thailand? So I'm the youngest of five and me and my... Again, it doesn't still work, what's this? It's very relevant. Me and my two older sisters are very close. So when I turned 18, we wanted to do something that incorporated all three of us, you know, get lit, have a couple of drinks, experience something different, and we chose Thailand. And where was this in Thailand? Um, I actually can't remember. We actually got a cab. <laughs> it was, no, we actually got a cab. It wasn't close to where we were staying. It was about 40 minutes. Okay, and where were you staying in Thailand? Bangkok. It was, okay, so you went 40 minutes out of Bangkok. Yeah. And what side of the road did they drive on in Thailand? Hmm, I actually can't remember. Oh, convenient that is. I mean, it was two years ago almost, so it was a while ago, but we did, yeah, we did go to Thailand. It was for a week and it was really fun. All right, well, um, yeah, please stand back up. I truly believe that number two was telling the truth there. Uh, why are you smiling? Because it wasn't you. me. Huh? Oh, you're not meant to tell me yet. Someone might now change my answer. <laughs> 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 I thought I was the real bit. <laughs> In reality, I believe it was number one who went to Thailand. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Number one is the one who went to Thailand. Okay, let's get in to round two. I was an ex-academy and international footballer. Number four, please step forward. You were an ex-academy and international footballer? Yes, I was. What club? West Ham. Whereabouts did you train? Um, we trained like on the West Ham grounds. Oh, oh, really? On in Upton uh, Park? No, it was not. It's not in Upton Park in West Ham. Okay. Do you ever go and watch the men's team at Upton Park? Yeah, sometimes I do occasionally. At Upton Park. Yeah. You watch the men's team at Upton Park. 
Actually, wait, no, it's not Upton Park, actually. No, it's not. I just realised, no, no, I don't actually watch the men's team at Upton Park. OK, and why did it go wrong? Because you're an ex-academy and international footballer. Yeah, no, it's just there's not really much money in women's football, you know, and I was just really trying to make it international and really make a name for myself. I just felt like I couldn't do that. My I, don't, put me. I don't believe you. You thought that the men's team played at Upton Park, and for me, that is enough to say that it's definitely not you, so you could, you could stand back up. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, though. Nice try. All right, number three, please step forward. Please tell me... What club you played for? Um, Birmingham City. Did you ever watch the men's team? I did. What's the stadium called? St Andrews. All right, and what international team did you play for? England Colleges. Who's your favourite football player? N'Golo Kante. Oh, this is quite believable. Um, and what went wrong? Why aren't you an ex-footballer anymore? Well, I kind of am, because I still do it on social media, but I felt I was more successful down that route. And what position do you play? CDM. Hence N'Golo Kante, that makes sense. What stadium do Birmingham women's play? St Andrews as well. Really? Yeah. I know. They share the ground. Yeah. Do they? OK, thank you. You're welcome. I, I may have learned something new today. All right, Dev. Please take a seat. Mate, now it's something about your huge arms and chest that makes me think that you wouldn't be a footballer. I mean, everyone in football goes to the gym. They just have, just have huge legs. I mean, you can transition. So what happened? Uh, I got injured, basically. I tore my rotator cuff. Of course you did. Yeah, I got um, an injury on my what Achilles. What team do you support, Dev? But, uh, in terms of... Yeah, what football team? Arsenal. And what team did you play for? Uh, Luton. You played for Luton? Yeah. Luton City? Yeah, Luton FC, yeah. Yeah, it's Luton Town. Yeah. Yeah. So why would you call it Luton City? Oh, I thought you were referring to the city of... I, yeah, I said Luton okay, FC. Okay, and what's the stadium called? Uh, Luton. Uh, Luton. Well, that's what the stadium's called. The stadium's called Luton. Yeah. So you play in the town. You run through the towns of Luton and play football when you play. Yeah? No. That's your stadium. People walking past, yeah. they're the crowd, are they? No. The, in the stadium of Luton. Get out of my sight, you disgrace. Try better next time. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, number one. Now, I know you love Thailand, so this one's straight lie. Let's hear it. I played for Charlton FC under 16s. Yeah. Under 16s? What happened? Under 16. What happened? I went international. I started playing for a, a team back in my own country in Algeria. What's the stadium called in Charlton? Kingsmead. Kingsmead? Kingsmead. Kingsmead Stadium. Kingsmead Stadium. Charlton is called Kingsmead. I swear the sidemen matches in Charlton. I played there. So you should remember the name. I should remember the name. Okay, uh, what's the colours of uh, Charlton? White and red. I thought it was red and black. I don't have enough knowledge to... I wish I had a new ball, man. And then what went wrong? Over there. Why? I think I just decided to come back and go to university. It's not you, man. You at least have a story on why it went wrong. Because it's number three. You are lying and you love Thailand. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> oh, that was, that was fine. I, was, I just wanted to laugh at him. You're not a baller, man. I'm gonna lock in for this round, number three. I think she's a CDM, and um, I think her ball knowledge checks out. Let's go into round number three. Oh, God. I used to strip at hen parties. Number one, please step forward. So you're a stripper? Extra, but I did junior university. Why? It was a part-time hustle, to be honest with you. I was broke at the time, lost my job. Someone in my Tell me some stripping doing. moves. Well, I mean, my signature move was a dolphin dive. And how's that go? So, it's more or less the worm, but you do it in a more seductive way. So you've just been playing too much Black Ops, zombies, and you're talking about the dolphin dive. The dolphin dive is not a stripping move, I'd know. Have you been a stripper? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. What was your signature move? The dolphin dive. <laughs> <laughs> You're not here to quiz me, I'm here to quiz you, all right? Know your place. Thank you. I am the investigator. I have the magnifying glass, all right? So first off, I'm just going to say I don't like your attitude, number one. You need to fix your attitude. I also just want to ask you how many women would be at these hand parties? Varies, but the groups would usually start off between 10. And what would, what would you wear? What would you wear? What would you wear? Depends on what they required, what they wanted. Damn, that last question would have been good. Up you go, number one. Dev! <laughs> Tell me, what was happening at these hen parties? Huh? Uh, it's a bunch of women celebrating their last night of freedom. And why did so, you only do it at hen parties? I mean, it just, made, it just makes it easier. You've got like 20, 30 women screaming your name. And... Oh, they're all screaming Dev? 
Uh, your pseudonym, yeah. What was your stripper name? Uh, Triple D. <laughs> Triple D, yeah? yeah? Why? Why triple? Triple size. Uh, the first part is the name of an animal, the second part is the name of a body part, and the third part is my name. Okay, let's do it. Donkey Dick Dev. <laughs> Donkey dick then. Yeah. All right, donkey dick. How much did you get paid? Uh, so I do like uh, 10 minutes and I get uh, about 150 to 200, depending on where it is. 150 to 200 yeah. for 10 minutes? Yeah. Okay, and what was your signature move? Apart from spanking them at the start, it was the bit where I did the full Monty with the flab racks around the head. And what would you wear? What would you wear usually? Usually the top requests were um, pizza boy or policeman. Donkey dick might just be telling the truth here. All right, donkey dick, I think I've heard enough. Sure. All right, number three, football player. So you were a stripper at hen parties. Yeah, because I felt more comfortable doing it with women because I had a boyfriend at the time. And your boyfriend was fine with this? He was fine because it was hen parties, so it was other women. And what was your signature move? Well, God blessed me in certain areas, so I just shook it. <laughs> I feel like you don't know any stripper moves, so you just said, I twerked. Pretty much. So, well, we don't so, have so to do me, that tell much. Tell me some stripper moves then, please. Well, what do you mean? Well, just tell me. If you're, surely you're, you're an expert. You're a former stripper, so tell me some moves. An expert? Yeah. Well, you know, the dolphin dive. Get out of my sight. Go back. Go back. No, dolphin dive. I don't want to hear dolphin <laughs> dive again. Get back up. <laughs> Number four. Why hen parties? Um, to be fair, me and my friends, it was about four of us. We weren't really confident in our looks at the time. We just thought, let's do it in front of women first. And if it goes good, then we'll transition to stag. Have you ever done it at a stag do? Um, I've done it once and uh, they were a little She's bit... Lying. They were a little bit, you know, funny there, so I didn't really like it. Okay, so then tell me some stripper moves. Um, so we've got the spinning ballerina, which is basically like when the pole spins around and you're just holding it like this. What else? What else? Just tell me the moves. Um, you've also got the bunny hop, which is basically like where you touch your toes and you go, sort of go around. You've got shake it Stacy, which is like she's just mentioned, you're just shaking your bum with the And S. how old are you? I'm 21. You're 21. And how long have you been doing it? Mm, it's been about two and a half years almost, yeah. So turned 18, went for it. Yeah. Well, that's time. So, uh, thank you. It sounds like you know about pole dancing, You're saying spinning ballerina and all these types of things. Oh, this one's a tough one to lock in. So it's between donkey dick and number four, spinning ballerina. No chance it's you. You're How'd you know? Least likely, honestly, you said dolphin dive. That's my move. I think the real question is here, could Dev really have a donkey dick? But I'm a lock in number two, donkey dick. I'm gonna go with that. So let's move on to the final round, round number four. I have six toes on my left foot. Number four, please step forward. I'm very happy right now. Why? Because my cousin has six toes. Oh, okay. So I know the name of the condition. Polydactylism. Is that what? I think it's polydactyl. I think I'm a polydactyl. I think that's what it is. My cousin uh, doesn't have six toes. So I don't actually know the name. So she could have lied to me, to my face, and I wouldn't know. Did you ever think of getting it removed? Yeah, we actually went to some fancy hospital in central London when I was like nine years old. I remember being so one. And they it's sat you. me down and they were like, yeah, you can have your toe removed. Could you just stand up, please? Yeah, sure. Are you able to put your foot on the table? Yep. Yeah. No, no, the other one, because it's left. It's not her. It's not her. It said left. Oh, no, it says right. It does say right. So you're on the right one on now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. So it's this foot, six toes. Liar, it says left. Get up. Lied to me. She lied to me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, so that means I got one wrong. Number three, please. So you've got six toes. I do. And what's the condition called? It's polydactylism. Poly you, you're actually right. It's a fair play. I used to get bullied for it. So you got bullied. What would people call you? They were just liking me to like flipping millipedes and that. It was just childish. No, it was childish. But like my brother, it was my brother really, because obviously he was older than me, so he knew what the crack was. Does he have six toes? No, he doesn't. So it's not hereditary? It is hereditary. Is it? My gran has six toes. Does she? And what did she, she tell doesn't. you? She actually also has an extra finger, fun fact. I'm devastated. I think I've done awful this video. I think I've done really bad. I've, I've, I've heard enough, thank you. Thank you very much. Please, number two, take a seat. So, it's, um, it's actually called hexapodalism, because poly means five, 
see like polygon, it's five sides, <laughs> hex or six. I absolutely despise you. But hex or a six. You, you know make that? me <laughs> sick. Get back up there. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Alright, number one, please. <laughs> Donkey dick, man. Yeah, go tell me. So everyone's been incorrect so far. The actual condition is called andrelexia. Oh, what the water spilled everywhere. Oh, I hate this vid. You're liars, all of you. So it's called what? Andrelorexia. Androlorexia. Androlorexia. Okay, and what's Take that Take it mean? seriously. I, okay, sorry. I'm not, sorry, I'm not trying to laugh at you and your six toes. All right? And you have six toes on, on your... Right foot. Right foot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you know why I'm laughing? Why? <laughs> on your right foot, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get back up, you stupid androlorexia freak. Because androlorexia isn't a thing, is it? <laughs> and we both know that. Because right here, it says left. Yeah, I, wa I want to see, if I sit back down, sit, sit back here, right here. What's that say, Andro? Huh? That says left. So you are a, a liar who loves Thailand. Get up. <laughs> Go. Oh, androlorexia. Had me thinking there for a second. And don't you even look at me. <laughs> X or a six, though. X is six, everyone knows that. So after that, um, there's only one option left. Um, and that's you, number four. I think I've got every one of them wrong. But I'm going to lock in number four, even though I don't think it's you, and let's just hope for the best. I have a really bad feeling about this. I feel sick. It's time for the reveal. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Yes, I got it. Yeah, I knew it. I knew I got them all right. That was crazy. All four. Crazy. I'm not the go. You, you are a donkey dick. Crazy. So why did you put your right foot up? Because it should have said right on the card. So it is the right foot. My right foot, yeah. Sorry, he's losing his job. <laughs> Thank you guys for being involved in this one. And uh, I am just too good at it. So, peace out.